Hey you guys, I am out here at the gym. Yes, girl, I am back on it again. Y'all, I was so like, I don't know if I told y'all yesterday, I was so nervous about gaining any weight. But <clears throat> what I look at it is that we really only ate two meals a day while we were there. Um, and I limited my desserts to when I went over to my girlfriend's house. And of course, my mama, I told y'all that I was, I was preserving the calorie intake for the desserts. Um, <clears throat> and I, I really did eat like two and a half slices of that cake. She made that cake was so good. She low-key gave me the recipe without even thinking about it. I was asking, I'm like, okay, how many eggs is in this? She told me three. I said, okay, did you use butter or oil? She told me oil. I'm like, done. Done. I already know. Okay, what type of asterisk is this again? Sorry, y'all. It's kind of warm here. 83 or so. Not too bad, but um, let me put it on low. Still getting to the, you know, getting there, but um, I didn't work out yesterday. I had all intentions I had on my outfit meaning workout clothes outfit my workout clothes and never just made it to the gym because i wanted to get as much stuff done to get back into the role of you know being off a of vacation you know um <clears throat> excuse me i definitely feel like i'm losing a lot more inches i measured my stomach my waist excuse me is 33 which is good my goal is to be under 30 like 29 so if i can get down to 29 i'll be good now these this hips are still uh she's still measuring 44 yeah i don't have a big butt it's these hips but you know as your waist gets smaller your butt will look bigger and i'm definitely doing a lot more lower body to get me some more oomph or uh, inch oomph or li lift it up you know i don't need any more inches just lift it up a little bit um but yeah we had a great time like i said yesterday we had a fabulous time i do not think we will ever do that again meaning flying into dallas driving straight to longview excuse me the back part was too much you know um driving from La longview straight into dallas and then flying that was too much because we definitely need that day afterwards to recuperate and yeah we're good today so I was telling my husband that <clears throat> y'all heard me that we should probably do a drive around trip next time um because you guys, when y'all you, you, seen us when we go on vacations. When we go on vacations, we spend coins. I mean, my it's mostly my husband. He's a little he's a little bougie. I'm not that bougie. I don't mind the bougie-ness, but I'm not. I look, put it like this. As long as, you know, wherever I'm seeing it is safe, clean, reasonable, I'm okay. I mean, I had initially had us staying at like a Best Western or what do you call that? Like a Hyatt local he was like, oh no we're looking for five stars i'm gonna go it's gonna be your coins playboy so wherever we go we have to plan ahead of time so that we can save our money so that you know we could eat some somewhere that's nice and stay at a nice rest excuse me stay at a nice hotel so um we will more than likely do sedona i think it's sedona you were already in october y'all friday october can y'all believe that told y'all a uh, sign of the end times you know when time is speeding up and that's that's biblical anyway <laughs> um but it's true um yeah we're already in october so that's three more months what am i trying to say i'm trying to see if we could plan a trip in january because it's very nice in january oh excuse me and just carry on with everyday boring life i think my life is a little boring y'all i'm surprised so many people watch me or so many people enjoy watching my vlogs because i don't think it's as entertaining as some of these vloggers you know so but it is what it is not everything has to be you know fireworks and stuff because um this is just showing my everyday life so anyway y'all just back at it um something oh uh, let me give y'all a little bit more background on um the reunion and all that because i could i couldn't talk and it was so funny i didn't want to i'm not ashamed of my accent let me just say that but i don't think some of you may have had an issue even understanding me first of all so uh yeah my husband was like your accent came out within a few hours i'm like nobody even asked you i mean i did but i didn't let me turn on the car y'all i'm hot um the reunion was nice but we couldn't stay 
we literally only i mean first of all the doors opened up at 6 30 we got there at 6 40 we left at 8 we left like literally immediately after we were done eating let me put this like this y'all there we go we left immediately after we were done eating okay and i feel kind of bad but not really because there is no one from my high school that i talk on a regular basis absolutely no one i mean i i went to college when i was 17 i didn't go to the five-year reunion this is the only reunion i've ever been to all right there's no one that i i don't have anyone's phone number you know what i mean so it's not like i kept close in touch with anyone from high school and that's just me being real not being petty not being shady that's just me being real um i mean yes i have at least 40 of them help us on my Facebook page and you know I, I lack a little picture every now and then first of all I'm not I'm not on Facebook that much to do all of that but I think some people assume that whatever is going on on social media should transfer outside of it I speak to people I spoke to people but we me and probably two or three other couples were the only ones sitting down most of the time I got up once say hi and of course <laughs> if anyone walked by that I knew I got up and spoke but I wasn't up engaging with people that's just how I am y'all I'm I am a classic introvert it may not seem that way on here because I come off as very outgoing but yeah I was seated down first of all I wanted to be cute in my dress and seated down my, my feet were kind of hurting so I was like yeah I'm sitting down and then it ended at 10 10 or 11 first of all that's too late for me that's too late and jb had been with my mom since we got over there at noon and then i left at four so yeah my baby had been there from noon to eight that's a long time for a four-year-old excuse me five year and granted my sister brought her children over there played with him around four o'clock but by the time i got there he ran immediately to me because he was tired so yeah eight o'clock was a good time to leave um they're already playing in the next reunion girl they're talking about they're gonna go on a cruise miss jackson would not be doing that hell no y'all i i would never go on a cruise anyway it was very interesting to see how much had changed in dallas now um i was there last year and the last time my husband and i together drove around was three years ago because yeah jb had just turned two and we drove girl never again we drove from phoenix all the way to dallas never again Y'all, I'm going to have to find another barber for JB because that place we went to, they were out of control. These millennials, the guys in there had to be no more than 27, 28 years old. And just cursing and just a mess. So, I think I can keep this up, but then um, after that, we'll have to find some other place. Don't throw your stuff though, boo boo. Don't throw your bag. Did you like the candy? You did? Tell the show the story. Michelle! Hey y'all, uh, come on girls, zoom in. There we go, uh, or focus. Out, y'all know, I already know, out in front of the gym, let me tell you something. I had, I didn't even tell y'all what all I had from my mama. <laughs> she gave me, first of all, let me back up. She sells those little cookies between one and two dollars. Yes, the mini cake she sells for five dollars, but she has really good business and marketing skills. My mama needs to needs to like host a class on that. When I tell you, when I was there, the four hours I was there, I saw about ten people come in and out. And I'm like, what the hell? She was making some coins. On top of that, she also takes orders for pies, um, cakes. Someone, someone bought a sweet potato pie. Another person bought a raisin cake. You know, being being that royal part of the South, there's a lot of older people who have these. Um, remember these old-fashioned cakes and pies? My mama will look up a recipe, recipe, and she'll make it for them. And that's why I get that from. I can look up a recipe, change up a few things, and bake it. So, um, and all types of people were coming up, all types of races, all types of ages were coming over. And my daddy was like, he's like, this is not nothing. 
a lot of the times they will be parked across the street because there's a gasoline station across the street they will park in the driveway and be waiting to come in and she only sells them out of her house look she tried to sell them out she was actually selling plates at one time but, <laughs> but the county got a hold of that girl and was like, oh hell no miss miss um miss billy jean you can't be selling no no meat outside of your home you can only sell baked goods and you can sell them inside your home but once you get into selling meats and stuff like that outside you know meeting people for that you can't do that so yeah she makes a she makes a good coin doing that and my best friend makes good money too it's the south people love to eat girl um so when i came back um and dropped jb off at school on monday one of the my neighbor's daughter was like you know mom is in the hospital she has she's septic again i'm like what y'all want to tell y'all this woman is in the hospital like every two or three months that's a lie, probably once a month now. Since I've known her, she's had pneumonia four or five times. This is the second time she's gone septic. She's, she doesn't have an immune system. And she keeps kids though. And I have mentioned to her daughters, I'm like, there is no reason why she should be continuing to keep small children and multiple children when she doesn't have an immune system. But you know, this woman's older. She ain't gonna, she gonna do whatever she want. Um, what's the point i had made a german chocolate cake on monday and so i told her daughter brooke i said i'll just drop it off and you guys can eat it because they the girl they will eat they'll eat just about anything so um the point is you have to start taking care of yourself you know as as women especially but this go for men women regardless of race or whatever you really need to put yourself first and i find a lot of the times especially with caregivers when you are in a position where you have to care for a loved one um you can i know a couple of you have cared for spouses in the past or you're caring for an ailing spouse a parent excuse the car a parent maybe it's extended family members i i <sighs> You know, I really um, respect people who do that because you guys know I was in that only for a week. I was caring for my husband and girl. I was at a breaking point. That really tested me. However, I got through it. But there are some of you guys who have to do this long term and you have done it long term. I guess my point is you have to make sure that when you're in a position of a caregiver or even just, you know, being a mom, daughter, or even just being a parent, a spouse, you have to take care of yourself. And you have to do it all the way around, mind, body, and soul. Um, there was a time there, a moment for me, and it was mostly, it mostly happens during the holidays where I get frowsed with doing stuff. And especially when I was planning my wedding and moving back into the house, I got extremely stressed out. I had anxiety. I even had a panic attack in between that. Um, blood pressure was through the roof because I wasn't taking care of myself I was making sure everyone else needs were being met and neglecting myself and, and you can't do that Um, who is that? Sonia be on it recently you, you guys know her. She was the one that started the vapor rub stuff girl one of one of the ones <laughs> Started the vapor rub, but anyway, she had been gone for a while She posted a video recently on why she had been out Long story short, she had gotten so run down and sick, and I believe she has heart problems, she says. Um, she has panic attacks. She doesn't know what triggers it, she said, but I have some thoughts about that, which is, a, which is another conversation. But anyway, um, she wasn't taking care of herself, but it can happen to the best of us. More, more of the story. I'm encouraging you. This is the encouraging moment with Miss, Miss Vivian. Take care of yourself mind body and soul like i said it has to be holistically everything together um because one can affect the other if you're not taking care of yourself emotionally mentally that can affect you um physically if you're not taking care of yourself spiritually and it doesn't matter what your spiritual background is um one of the things that i'm gonna do in the, and I, I it's been on my heart to do this in a couple of more weeks here i need to do a fast i need to fast um and fasting is just not a christian thing it's more of a a spiritual thing than a religious thing to um uh, abstain from food um the, the fasting doesn't necessarily have to be food it could be something else to deny yourself those things that you're used to can give you clarity does that make sense y'all know this i know a couple of you guys have fasted again it doesn't have to be a christian thing there are buddhists who fast or jewish people who fast there's muslims who fast clearly indians who fast um 
it's a spiritual thing and I've done fasting in the past and it has been something that's been very very beneficial for me at first I'm like girl I cannot go even two hours without no food now I need a snack <laughs> but that's just the flesh speaking right so yeah I'm gonna do that later on um but in the meantime I purpose and y'all know this I get up an hour early first of all I go to bed early so that I can get up an hour early and have an hour to myself I oftentimes hear so many people especially women say I don't have any time for myself as always my kids around me girl please change your schedule there are 24 hours in a day okay we have just enough time to do what we need to do we just don't do it so I purposely go to bed between 8 and 9 so that I can get up an hour early to have time to myself and within that hour I do whatever I want to do whatever Vivian wants to do and one of the things that I've started to do and I told you guys about this a couple of vlogs ago is having quiet time just not doing anything just this week along I started meditating five eight minutes complete silence going inside myself and relaxing I mean really relaxing and when I tell you when I do that that changes my entire morning y'all it really does change my entire morning it was something I used to do while I was pregnant to prepare myself for um, the labor itself I did what's called hypnotherapy I have a whole story on that uh, excuse me story time which I'll link to that I got so relaxed I got to a point to where I was so relaxed in my labor where I didn't even need medication. My labor was intense, but it was not painful. I, that's how much I was able to do it. And I need to get back to that. So I started again this week. Like I said, I started a couple of weeks ago, but I really am taking it serious this week. And it really changes my entire mood. Um, JB, had a, he was having some problems this morning, girl. I had to get to those legs. I had to pause to pop those legs for a minute but that didn't even change my mood i paused to pop in a very calm way it was very like you know very much was like i now i need for you to put your clothes on now i need for you to brush your teeth and that shit could be more deadly there than someone <laughs> than someone screaming right if you if you have a parent talking to you calm and collect to do something to me that's scarier than someone screaming at you right but anyway, y'all. So yeah, just just take care of yourself. That's all I'm saying. My, hold on, my titty itching. Speaking of my boobs, y'all. I am finally getting some hangage. Just give y'all update. Those of you who don't know, I had breast reduction in May. Went from a triple, excuse me, a double E, sometimes triple D, to a full size C. I am finally getting some hangage, meaning they're drooping. Because before they were up high and perky. That's great and all, but I don't want to look like I've had a boob job. You know what I mean? So now they're they're dropping, which is good. Still very, very itchy because the nerves are repairing their stuff. There's still some discoloration on the bottom half of the boob. Now that I look at them, I honestly do wish they were just a little bit bigger. I really do. I wish they were a little bit bigger. However, with that being said, the size of my breasts match my body. This just is what it is. I think... Real quick, shout out to, you guys don't know this, but some of my um, subscribers who I know have YouTube channels, I watch you guys. I watch one or two channels of your, you know, excuse me, videos, and you may not, um, I may not comment all the time, because you guys know I'm a huge lurker, and I may not comment all the time, but I do watch your videos. So shout out to the Empress Sheba. I love your channel, sis, and I did comment on your one channel that has the, it's been a couple of months ago when you posted the video. Um, she has free form locks. I know how I feel about locks. I love locks. Um, she has a beautiful family. The energy, everything is beautiful. Her skin is beautiful. I was looking at her skin. I'm like, okay, yeah, she don't eat no meat. <laughs> You know, you can just tell by looking at someone's skin and their overall energy whether or not they ingest animal animal meat. Excuse me, meat in general. Um, and I can tell by looking at her. She, in the, sure enough, a couple of videos down, she had a video on that. I'm like, okay. While I'm sitting up here thinking about what I'm going to do with this chicken later on. <laughs> okay, now turn around. This. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm, I'm showing y'all real quick. James, hold still, baby. Hold still. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. This is JB's Pac-Man costume. I like to put it on him so I can see what thing I need to do. I did everything handmade, painted. It's all about the details, girl. All about the details. We got the cherry on this side. I'm gonna get him together, y'all. I'm gonna get him what? together. 
all the stuff you see right here is felt um print out styrofoam i wanted i wanted it to look like a homemade game these are door knobs that is the gear i made out of well, i painted out of styrofoam we have a ghost on the side now to add some dimension let me show you what we're going to do put those there so add to add some dimension we have glow sticks that are going to go along the edges this is going to be turn off the light bubble so they can see the effect look how bad that's going to look at night Yes, yeah, so the glow stick is going to highlight the actual arcade, y'all. Less than 30 scary. bucks. I know it's scary. <laughs> Less than 30 bucks and we're done. Yeah, so last year I did the bags. I don't think I'm going to do that this year. I'm just going to, meaning I bagged all the candy. Yeah, girl, I'm not going to do that this year. Um, let's see what decorations we can get. We're going to get these Wicked O' Witch legs for the garage. Um, what's over here? <laughs> That's funny. Spiders. Y'all, I'm just about, look, I'm just about done. I don't want to do this. So, um, guess I'll do some raggedy bats here. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? You see that Christmas stuff? Child. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I will do fall all day, every day. But, yeah. Anyway, let me show y'all what I got. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. Ooh, these tacos smell good, y'all. Am I doing this right? Can y'all see? All right, so... <coughs> I got me some crackers. Like these are like $2.99, $1.99 sometimes. At the store, 99 cents, girl. 99 cents. I got some, don't even play, you already know, famous Amos cookies. Um, some baking soda. I like to clean with this, okay? I got me some tuna. I actually got two cans. I wonder, wonder what the other can is at. I'm gonna have one can tonight with a salad. That's gonna be my dinner. Since I'm having tacos for lunch, I'm gonna have a light salad with a can of tuna for dinner, actually. And I always like to keep on hand, because y'all know I'm a, I'm a crafty helper. I always like to keep either a brownie package or cookie package, and I, you know, I add stuff to it. Um, just in case I'm going somewhere, or if I wanna, yeah. I like this. Y'all know this by now. I like to bake stuff. I like to bake bake stuff for people. And so I got it from my mama. You saw that, right? Okay. And here I got some what is this? Body washing bubbles for JB. I got just a little bitty container of I'm gonna go to the store tomorrow, but I got a little bitty container of some um ditch washing detergent for um, what am I trying to say? I'm going to do a load of laundry tonight. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this and try to wash our garage thing out here. Garage floor over the weekend. I'm going to tell you another thing I'm going to do to, to kind of help with that. I purchased some Armor All for my car. I need to wash my car this weekend. Um, this is some deodorant. This is, this is part of my prepping stuff. The deodorant and hand sanitizer. These are prepping supplies. Here's that other can of tuna. I got some dishwashing soap over here because I look, I have to add some water to this to kind of stretch it. So I got this here. I'll get another big container. You know, I like to save that. And then what else? Do I have anything else that's not? Oh. I got this for JB to put in his room. His room has a travel like theme. So I purchased this stuff that's um, the U.S., New York, and he's been obsessed with the Eiffel Tower. I think this would be cute. So he could place this wherever he wants in his room. Um, just something for him. Uh, I also purchased some heavy duty scrubbing pads for the kitchen. Um, some razors for me, okay? And all 
always have something from school, y'all. Always something from school. The teachers asked for items for a fall gift basket that is Disney related. I'm like, oh girl, I got you. So I'm gonna give her this um, Disney Pixar car and some stickers that's gonna go in the gift basket. Then I have these two storage containers for JV's area. I noticed that his clothes are barely fitting and I like to just put in these things. He has a dresser, but a little two two drawer dresser, but I'm not gonna be folding, I'm not gonna, excuse me, hanging up his clothes, girl. Mm -mm, I'm not gonna be hanging up his clothes. So I fold them up and put them in these containers. I purchased him, purchased him two more um, workbooks and we have been doing workbooks and stuff in the, in the afternoons, mostly in the weekend. So he can do these sometimes in the morning before school. Halloween, like I was not playing. I don't want to, I don't want any scary stuff, so it's kid friendly. We have these stickers here that I can put on the front there. And then these, oh, what do you call these? They light up, steak lights, solar lights, pumpkins. I got about four of those. Um, I got a door, trick or treat door sign, and a some Wicked Witch <laughs> decorative banner to go out in the garage store. And, oh, I got some more stuff, y'all. All right. Oh, it's for my car, a refresh clip for the car. These nets, more trick or treat. Look, I didn't do that, that spider web stuff. That stuff is horrible to get off. So we're just gonna do two or three, two or three of these and the actual trees out in the front. And, oh, I saw these um, purple, this is really pretty. This is dark purple, limited edition, wet and wild eyeliner. Very cute, very, very cute, dark purple. And last but not least, I got some, some oh no, I got another thing, oh, some super glue. I always need some super glue. So we, you know, keep some super glue here. Kitty litter, is this kitty litter? Girl! I bought damn cat food. I don't know the difference between kitty litter and cat food. What the hell am I gonna do with some <laughs> Okay, let me tell you. I was supposed to have gotten kitty litter because kitty litter can help you, um, excuse me, can you help oil spills out in the garage floor. So I think that you can do exchanges at the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure you can, Dollar Store. So I'm just gonna take this bag. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know we're gonna do some kitty food, but we're gonna get some kitty litter to help with the oil spills. No. That's just tell you, and this is why I don't need no damn pets. I will be feeding the, the dang cat some, some kitty litter instead of some food. It is a beautiful day today. You guys, I live in, in the- No, no, not. JB. I live in the desert. Of course, it's Phoenix, but I live in an actual desert called the Sonoran Desert. And in the mornings, they have, every other morning, they have balloons out here. And it's so beautiful. Now, you, you ain't gonna catch me in no balloon, girl. Hey you guys, it's Friday and I'm ready to swing. It's Friday, we almost in October. Hold on, it's my phone. Okay. Um, it is a half a day for these kids. Y'all, I looked at the calendar because I was telling Christine, my coworker Christine, I was like, um, I was just telling her that I'm gonna be doing stuff. Sorry, put the car in park. I was letting her know that these kids get out all the time. I don't know how the hell they learning. I kid you not. JB is out for a week, all the way up into February. Excuse me, a week every month. They're out October, the week of October 8th for a week. They're out for Thanksgiving for a week. They have one break. And then that's February. Oh, then they have like three days off and they have spring break. Then they have three days off in April. And then school is over in May. What the heck? So he's gonna be home with me. I gave him an option, but he ain't gonna get no more options in the future, girl. Like, I'm gonna start signing him up for a camp or something because he ain't gonna be driving me crazy, y'all. Just like I did for summer. For summer, I signed him up for um, summer camp and he liked that, so. Y'all, look, wash and go, wash and go. Yes, I can always do great wash and goes while I'm not filming a tutorial for y'all. But, I saw the 
this product on clearance in my local fries, the Curls Goddess Curls Botanical Jelly. Now, I have used this product before. This is probably my fifth, fourth or fifth time using it. I don't know why I tried to do a wash and go on this. Now, th this isn't this. Let me tell you what happened. I used this and the Onion Honeydew and some oil. I did everything in the shower like I normally do. Got out, took the blow dryer, puffed up. It puffed up. It immediately puffed up. Uh uh. No, 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 no. I knew, sorry y'all, I knew by the next day there would be no definition. I had to pause. I had to pause. There would be no definition. There would be an afro. So I went back to my oldie but goodie. I had to, I hate doing this. It took me almost two hours to do everything. So. Meaning, I had to do it all over. Um, so I washed my hair again, just a little bit of shampoo, conditions again, use some more onion. I'm almost out my onion, but that's okay. I'll add another one to my Amazon cart. Um, Echo Style Gel. This is, this is what I got with the Echo Style. So it's, it's a little wet. Um, what time is it? I don't know, y'all. I've been drinking. <laughs> it's only been an hour. Yeah, girl. So I've been taking the blow dryer to it off and on. I do have that new blow dryer with the diffuser, but diffuser doesn't help me, y'all. It really doesn't. So I'll be wearing a wash and go for the next four or five days. Um, that is going to be for this vlog. And basically what I'm saying, ooh, girl, I'm about to knock some of that. Anyway, I'm going to split this up. It's Friday. I'm going to end this vlog because right now it's well over 30 minutes, depending on how I edit this. But you guys will see what my hair looks like in the next vlog. So, all right, you guys.